Let me show you how you can make these cool golf tracer shots in Adobe After Effects and even put your own custom color and style onto it. For this example, I'm gonna use a nice stable shot so we don't have to do any 3D tracking or cameras. And I'm just gonna to go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. On this shape layer, you wanna grab the pen tool and for the fill of the pen tool, I'll click None. And then the stroke, we can set that later. But basically we want to zoom in on our golf ball and create the first point in the center of the ball. And then we can just scrub along our timeline so we can begin building out our shot. Another useful thing I have on is Roto Bezier. So as the golf ball moves, I can just scrub forward a bit. Uh, I can lower the stroke width right now just so I can see what we're doing. And I'm just gonna move forward barely frame by frame. I can still see the ball. If your line ever doesn't connect, just make sure you have the last point highlighted and active and then you can just keep going. So for this shot, at some point it reaches the apex here and then it starts to come back down and we get that slight curve. And then I do lose track of the ball, but I can just kind of guess that it comes down a little bit. And if I really want, I can guess that by the end of the clip that the ball lands, I don't know, somewhere over here. We won't even need to show that much. So I'm just using my pinch gesture on my trackpad, but you can also zoom in and out here in the window. Now I can turn the visibility of this layer back on if I was hiding it. And the cool thing is for the stroke, you can choose any color you want. You can even click the actual stroke and you can make it a gradient. I like to lower the opacity a bit just so it's a little see-through, but you can also set it to cool blending modes like color dodge if you like. Now in the shape layer, here's where some After Effects power is gonna come in. Under the taper section, I actually wanna make the end length just a little bit tapered. This way the line gets thinner as it reaches the end. You also have other cool options in here, like if you wanna make it a dotted line, that can be cool too. I know people also like to add a glow effect on there. That's in the effects and presets folder if you want to add a little bit of glow. But all of those finishing touches aside, what we really want to do is animate this. So in the shape layer, we're going to add a trim paths tool. And in that trim paths tool, we can just add some keyframes and we're going to follow along. So 0% ended. And we're going to add a stopwatch icon on that. And right here, when the ball makes contact, I'm just going to add a keyframe. So you can always click this diamond to make sure you add a keyframe there. And as the ball goes, we're kind of going to do the same thing we just did, but this time by sliding up this percent wheel. So we're just going to slide forward. The more keyframes you do, the smoother it will probably be. If it's getting hard to use the mouse, you can always use the arrow keys for some more precision. If you hold command and move the right and left arrow keys, you can go frame by frame on the timeline. But we're just gonna keep increasing that end amount. In this case, the ball kind of disappears right around here, but maybe I can scrub to the end of the clip and imagine that it goes a little bit further. So I can play that back and I should be happy with my animation. But if you're not, you can always go back and adjust things. Like now if I wanted to add a little bit more taper or change the stroke size in the first place, I can do that, I can change the color, whatever I want. And you can have some fun with it and make it your own style.